So onlinecareerfair.org is where people can go. They can check out Online Career Fair. And I know that, that Pete, you were explaining what you did and, and why you're doing this. And if you could just let people know uh, what they can find here and, and how this can serve them, I'd be grateful. Yeah, sure. Uh, so with Online Career Fair, I mean, we, we created that in response to the pandemic and the effect that it was having on college students, I guess, particularly, uh, you know, the sophomores and juniors whose internships got canceled uh, or made virtual or, you know, whatever it was, their job offer got rescinded. Uh, what we wanted to do was create a place where they could come and identify industry professionals who want to talk to them. Uh, and actually have one-on-one -on -one conversations about, you know, what's it like? Oh, I see. Okay, you're, you know, vice president at Amazon, uh, and you're willing to spend 20 minutes with me to help me get clarity on what it is that I want to do. Um, and, you know, for, for a lot of college students, they don't necessarily have the family networks that they can reach into to have those kinds of conversations. And, and what we did was we reached out to you know our industry contacts and friends when campuses were being shut down and all the bad things started happening you know in, in late march uh and uh people came out of the woodwork and said i would be more than happy to talk to college students right now to help them yeah. navigate the process of, of getting into the workforce can you give us so, a few examples of just some of the some of the companies or partners yeah, so uh, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, IDEO, PepsiCo, KPMG. Megan, you want to keep going? I mean, BlackRock, DraftKings, like you name it in terms of size of company and, and industry. I mean, we have biotech companies, we have um, real estate. I mean, there's, you know, it kind of runs the full gamut. Uh, we've really tried to knowing, I mean, students have so many different interests um, and we, we didn't want to just cater to, to one type of student. Right, so I would assume that um, I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. I would assume there has to be some kind of cost. I mean, how do students get access to all this great information and people? So because of the pandemic, we, we just made it free. Um, right. It's free, just to be clear, this is a free resource that students can tap into. 